Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Mod Driven. Today, we're going to be unboxing a new mod for the Honda Civic. Now, this is something that I've never done before on any car, I don't think. I've done them on trucks, but not cars. And I'm talking about a cold air intake. Got to replace this ugly looking, though probably efficient, cold air intake that comes stock on the car. What I've got is from Precision Engineered, I says, or AEM uh, Induction Systems. It's a dry flow filtered cold air intake. Now, what it says it's supposed to do or can do, um, we'll just read through the verbiage real quick. It says dyno tested to increase horsepower. Now, I've heard anywhere from 6 to 10 or 15 horses. Not sure if that's something you're going to really feel. I know that when I've done the cold air intakes in the trucks out there, I've never been able to really feel their increase. But they are a heck of a lot heavier than this little Honda Civic Coupe. It says it's supposed to improve its acceleration and engine sound. Now, acceleration is really pretty good on this car. Again, it weighs nothing. It's just a teeny tiny little four-cylinder engine, but it goes. So I'll be very curious to see if that makes a difference. Sound-wise, I have heard uh, from other people that it does make a difference. We'll see. It says the air filter lasts up to 100,000 miles, washable and reusable, oil-free dry flow filter. Now that I like. I've never been a fan of putting those oiled up air filters in your vehicles. I mean, the whole idea is to have the air go through and get filtered, right? And when you put oil in there, doesn't it clog up the pores in the filters? I don't know. Next, it says it's easy to install using commonly available tools. Well, I certainly have enough of those. And it says it has a lifetime warranty. That's good, and I can't imagine it wouldn't last the lifetime of the vehicle. I mean, it's just a, an aluminum probably. We'll see. We're going to open it here. But an aluminum tube, so it should fit. Let's uh, put you on a tripod. We'll crack the box open and see what it looks like. All right, let's go ahead and pop it open. First, we have to have the dramatic knife opening. YouTuber style. Uh, we'll go ahead and cut the tape. There shouldn't be anything in here, I guess, other than the filter uh, that I might actually cut through. So hopefully that does not happen. Can't imagine. Safety first. Let's make sure we close this puppy up, hopefully without uh, damaging oneself. I have done that before. All right. One thing I do like, uh, the box came undamaged, so that's good. These days, everything seems to come damaged. We've got directions in here right up on the top. A couple of uh, labels, it looks like. Packaging, always good. And they send you, check this out, they send you a license plate bracket. Um, unless they're paying me, I'm not going to be putting this uh, on my car. Uh, I will say, I am not sponsored by these folks, but hey, I'm always open. Give me a call. Uh, next up, we've got some, uh, looks like weather stripping or something with tape stuck to it. That's always good because the tape leaves a little bit of residue on it. Not cool. Don't like that. But nonetheless, we have it. Big long piece. I believe this goes around the bracket, I think. I'm not really sure what that goes on. Next up, we have the filter. Nice red filter. Should look good in there against the red uh, that I have for the hood struts. I like that. Again, not oiled. Definitely didn't want oiled. We have a uh, coupling. That's to connect the tubing to the throttle body inside. Looks a little small to me compared to what I'm used to with the trucks out there, but it's a small car. Let's see, next up, uh, some hardware. Looks like uh, some clamps and I don't know, some other things, hose clamps. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, let's see, We're saving the best part for last. And then we have the bracket or the enclosing, the housing, the shroud, the shield, whatever you want to call this. It is aluminum, metal, uh, does look good to me. Nothing looks damaged, dented, chipped, 
Again, these days you're lucky when you get things sent that aren't uh, damaged in some form. And I could have seen these being pushed in or damaged because they're relatively thin. Don't need a lot to hold this, so I'm not dogging them for that. That's pretty good. Some more packaging out of the way. And now the best part, in addition to the filter itself, I mean, that's pretty cool. But it is the tubing part itself. And this I was a little bit concerned about because I wasn't quite sure uh, what the finish would be on it because it looked different on Amazon, which by the way, there will be a link down below if you want to check out price and all that stuff. But uh, it looked a little different, but I'm happy to say it is, wow, that is a nice finish. Uh, looking for issues. I don't see any issues. Very cool. And this is the finish that I wanted. Has, of course, the, the little area here on top for the cold or the, the math sensor. Very important, you do have to put the sensor in there. And I think it's going to go in this way, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, I think it goes in this way. I don't know, it goes in one way or the other. I haven't looked at the install or the directions yet, at least very closely. So we're going to find out. It is aluminum, I can see on the inside. So very happy with it so far and it looks like it even matches the car check this out pretty darn close not really something i had intended but it's a pretty close match to the car itself i like that all right so there you have all the pieces and bits and stuff let's take a real quick look at the verbiage that came with it it tells you not to return it uh, to the store to get a hold of aem directly that's typical and then we have a dyno chart now this is based on a 2016 honda civic mine of course is a 2020 but we all know there hadn't been a lot of changes this shows you the uh i guess the increase stock uh with the little circles if you can see them there versus the triangles with and without the uh, cold air intake. Real quick look at the instructions. Uh, it's pretty simple. They give you all the parts and stuff. The only thing I'm curious about is this number six, edge trim. Uh, I wanna know where that goes. So we're gonna find that for you real quick here, maybe, if they show us. It looks right here like it does go around the uh, intake it's or the housing itself anyway leave a comment let me know what you think if you happen to have a honda civic and you've done this intake or any other intake before what did you experience did you notice any differences i'd be curious to know one more thing i want to mention to be fully honest my whole point in putting this in my honda civic is just to dress up the engine bay a little bit it's really an aesthetic mod for me um, to go in the area right here. So if I get some increases, that'll just be a bonus for me. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive, all about the Toyota Tacoma, and Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? And while you're at it, smash the subscribe button here too. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.